Now we're going to mount the wheel assembly. This is for tension on the cable that goes on the carriage. There's four holes in this bracket and the frame or the carriage is already pre-drilled for those. It's pre-drilled on both sides so be sure that you get this on the same side that the other wheel assembly is on. The screws that go with it don't need a nut on them because it's already pre-threaded. I just want to tighten those in and I wanted to also remind you that this is considered the top carriage and the other one's considered the bottom carriage down here. So this goes into the top carriage. This pre-cut carriage belt. It's a black belt and it has a carriage bracket on it. And you slide that right on here. There's also a little guide and there's a hole for that guide. So if you get that up there and get it right in the hole, you'll be able to snug this right down. That's in order. And here's your eye bolt and it has a nut on it that you need to leave on for one side and you take it off on the other side so you can get it on the other side of this bracket. And I don't know if you'll be able to see that bird. Let's see now how tight it is. Okay, now if I push on this, it's getting close. Maybe just a little more snug. You want this to read really well. So, you need to have it tight. Okay, now if we touch on that and push, it'll move the machine before it moves the carriage, before you actually touch the carriage with the belt. Once you have the tension on the belt just right, 